name is Patrick Foster and I direct the Construction Academy here at the Wake Center and the programs, I'm the department chair of the program Construction Technology. So this is a project that both our uh, uh, RFUN grant program classes and our beginning construction class are working on together. And uh, we're making a shed for facilities here on campus and uh, the camp, the Measure V funds are paying for the material and then we're providing the labor with our students and they get to build an actual structure. We try to have as many realistic structures as we can for them to build. Alright, I'm Chris Johnson. I'm over at the City College and um, right now we're getting this stuff ready. We're going to set some rebar in because um, we're going to build this shed up for the City College. Um, set the rebar, lay the foundation and we're going to start framing pretty soon. In terms of what a student needs to know to enter the program, they don't need to know anything. It would, it's helpful if, you, if you're thinking about construction technology as a career, you obviously want to be fit, somewhat physical. You don't have to be big or anything, but you've got to you know, be coordinated and, and be able to work with your hands. And some people aren't oriented that way. And there are, the thing people need to know is for every builder that's out there framing, there's a lot of people in the office that do the support work. And sometimes it's middle management where they do takeoffs and lumber lists and estimating and there's all kinds of uh, things in an office that require people besides just the people that go out and build. So you may want to learn all that stuff to do something that's a little bit on the edge of the profession rather than the actual people that are building houses. But if you're if you want to get into it as a career and just go all the way and be a, be a carpenter and then eventually a contractor maybe you don't need anything. We'll take people from the beginning all the way through and if you have experience, uh, a lot of times our classes are mixed and we have experienced trades people and beginners and we figure out a way to make that work and it's in five years I've been here it's no, been no problem. So the younger people learn from the older people and the older people learn new stuff. We get a lot of people that are already working that come back and want to know specific skills in a certain direction so we can help them. But uh, the thing that most people lack is, are math skills and that's not even necessary to come in with those because we if you go through the AS program we have a required uh, math for the trades class and it's a really unintimidating class and uh, it's, it's easy to teach people the fundamentals they need. Construction technology is any really any kind of building but here at City College we focus on residential house construction so that's basically what it is. Um, we, we've been opening up a green component so we do green building as part of our curriculum now and also we're, we've got a grant to train students for green collar jobs which is a, a coming thing so that's what we do. Obviously we do uh, building classes so we have framing classes to frame the, the shell of a house. We also have a finished carpentry track where we teach how to do trim and uh, hang doors and do uh, crown molding and things like that and then we have a cabinet making class as part of that but we also teach construction math, math for the trades and we teach blueprint reading and uh, we're starting a photovoltaic uh, installation class and a weatherization class and a contractor's licensing preparation class. Those are all coming down. The program was initiated by uh, contractors in the area and they wanted any kind of training because they were hiring people off the street. This was four or five years ago when the construction was at its peak. It was booming. And they just wanted any kind of training. So we started doing training for construction skills. And then we've developed a, an AAS program, associate degree program, with a certificate over those four years. So we have that now. And uh, we put a survey out when we did this program proposal to the local contractors and asked them if everything being the same, would they hire a, a student with an AS degree or a certificate over a student that didn't have that? And they all said, yeah, it was pretty, pretty good uh, approval for that. So in terms of getting jobs, it's a very helpful thing. So most of our students are either in the building trade or want to become uh, carpenters or in the construction. 
But in my, uh, for instance, in my math for the trades class, I get architects and engineers, and they want to know more of the math specifically for construction for their own professions. And a lot of architects, for instance, take some of the building classes to see how a house is actually put together on the ground up as opposed to how it's designed. They're real obviously familiar with the design, but they like to get hands-on experience so they get a little bit more knowledgeable about what they're uh, designing to be built. Well, right now the job market's slow. We've had this housing slump. There's plenty of houses that need to be built. There's plenty of houses that need to be remodeled. There's infrastructure, bridges, and highway things going on. But money's tight right now because of the increased regulation, because of the financial problem we've been in. So things are still slow, but there's a, such a need for these things. And then green collar jobs are coming on the scene. They're trying to connect unemployed people with installing photovoltaic panels or weatherization programs. So all that's coming, that's right on the edge, and it's not quite broken yet. So it's a good time actually to get these skills. So we're training people so that when the market does break open, and it has to break open because population keeps coming into the state, buildings keep degrading, need to be rebuilt, infrastructure needs to be rebuilt. So there's always going to be a need, and it's just backing up right now. So there'll be plenty of work when it actually comes through which should be, you know, sometime soon, but it's a great time to get skills uh, learned in the meantime. Even though there's a housing slump right now, as I said, the, the construction will pick up, and, and it's really a great career. I've been in construction all my life. I've been teaching half the time and doing construction the other time, but I've been in that field as a carpenter and a contractor for, you know, 30, 40 years now, and it's great work. It pays pretty well. It pays very, very decently. The higher you go up, obviously, it pays more. And it's outside work, uh, a lot of it's outside work, and it's really healthy work, and it's a great uh, profession to go into. We've learned a lot about safety and ergonomics, so it's a healthier profession now. And uh, it's really a good one to get into, especially if you're not academically inclined and you don't want to keep going to school to get degrees and graduate degrees in that direction. It's a great uh, career uh, direction to go into. In terms of uh, house building as a profession, um, it's, it's really a great profession. It's a nice alternative to academic things. It's also a good backup career. These days, uh, job security is really going the way of uh, old things. There's not much. It, it, it almost pays to have several skills under your belt. For instance, I've been a carpenter all my life and a contractor, but also a teacher, so I can go back and forth. So just because you learn house building and carpentry skills doesn't mean it's going to lock you into construction all your life. You can learn those skills for yourself so that you can remodel and build your own stuff. And you can always go in and out of it as a career and do other things as well. So people think because they go through this program they, they're stuck for life being in construction industry. It's not true at all. They're just great skills to have for, for anybody. If you are interested in this career or learning more about it, um, just go to a counselor at City College and they will give you, there's phone numbers you can call, they'll give you my number, you can talk to me directly if, if the counselors can't answer questions. We put up flyers around and there's also the school website. The school website has a construction technology program uh, web page which tells you all the classes that we, we uh, have and then the, uh, the semester wise uh, class schedule shows what's coming up in each semester and how many units they are and all that kind of information. So you can get that uh, right on the website and you can get information from the counselors at the uh, student services.